Today we're going to be looking at three decks of playing cards, each based on a different uh, video game property. Let's go ahead and start with Mega Man X here. So this is based on Mega Man X4 specifically. It's just kind of weird that it's just like this happens to be the uh, the game that they're focusing on, which just means that it has uh, particular characters that it, the cards are going to feature. But you do have a a paper box with text and a picture on it, so it's got the standard three points for that. But uh, because of this, uh, it doesn't have like a, a part that comes out at all, and then this tag here on the back is going to make it more difficult for the cards to get put in and out. It's it's kind of a, a thing I've got on my rubric where uh, because of the box construction it is going to be difficult to put cards all the way in and out. That actually just fit in perfectly, strangely enough. It usually doesn't, it doesn't work that way. But let's go ahead and take a look here. So You've got a back, the, well, I guess I should say the material first is just plain smooth paper, no uh, special finish or anything on it. The back is also going to be a picture back, so this is going to get the uh, standard points for having a picture back. It's not a pattern, but uh, it has just you know, a repeating picture here. So let's go ahead and get into the cards. you got two jokers here, which uh, Sigma and... Um, that guy, I don't remember his name. And then you've got all these cards that feature characters from, again, Mega Man X4 specifically. And what is going to happen with this deck is that it is going to be just um, 13 unique pictures, because as you can see, every queen is going to be the same, every ace is going to be the same, every king, and so forth. So even just going through the cards, I guess if, I were, if the cards were in order, we could have just gone through one suit and you'd see all the pictures that there are. But I'll go ahead and fan through all of them anyway. So I like the, the artwork that's presented, but I mean, it'd be nicer if it was more unique. I don't know, being based on just X4, I don't know how else, um, I guess, to spread out the pictures. They use all the bosses, all the main characters. I guess I would say it would have to feature more than just one game if they were to come up with uh, more unique pictures, a unique picture for every card. But that is the, the extent of this deck. Which means this deck is going to get a total of 8.5 out of 20. Which is 42.5 out of 100. And that is Mega Man. X4 playing cards. Now let's go ahead on, on to the next one. This deck is based on Tales of Zillia. It is uh, another series of games where this is the only, I guess this isn't the only game that has a, a deck uh, made for it. Uh, maybe officially. But let's go ahead and take a look. It's also a similar box, exact same kind of uh, um, quality here, putting the cards back, you'll have some that just kind of stick up because it's hitting the the flap on the inside here, and the cards just won't sit all the way in, which just is just annoying. So again, it loses that half point for that reason. The material is also just paper cards, no special finish, and the back of this deck is going to be even less points because it's really just text. I mean, it's white background with text. I mean, sure, there's a little bit of a symbol here in the background, but I'm really just gonna call this a text-only back, which is going to get less points. Now, as for the faces here, it's very much a similar story. Every ace, every two, is going to be the same picture. Now, it is nice that they have at least 13 unique pictures. That's pretty much uh, the bare minimum. But it features all, you know, main characters from the game. And it's nice that they'll have, you know, original artwork for this. 
but it does seem to be that it's just 13 unique pictures, one for each value, not too unique. And I think, again, this, the problem is limiting it to just one game in the series, or they need to come up with... Or it doesn't even have to be um, more characters. They could feature the same characters, but, you know, different poses, different artwork. Rather than using the exact same picture, they could have the characters, same characters doing different things. So that would be a way to uh, enhance the, the, the value of these cards in my eyes. But this is actually going to be, uh, due to the um, picture back, I mean not picture back, the text only back, this is actually going to be a new low in scores for uh, this channel. Uh, so far this deck is now going to be a score of 6.5 out of 20, which is a low 32.5 out of 100. This this is the lowest scoring deck I have featured on the channel so far. I mean, I haven't reviewed all of my cards yet, so I don't know if it is the lowest score deck I have. And this is really giving me problems trying to put the cards back. So again, the problem I'm describing with this deck that I'm having right now is actually a problem I typically have. Wow, it went behind the tab, these cards. Yeah, let's see. Let me take a few more cards off the top. I can just put them in, like so. Okay. Now I can start squeezing them in on the top. So yeah, the box does lose that half point for this particular reason, and it's for all three of these decks, because it's just got that problem. Gosh, came close now. It's just too tightly packed. There's not enough room for all the cards to just be in there. Let's close it. There we go. Man, what a problem. Alright, now, the Sonic the Hedgehog playing cards. This is going to be the best deck we look at today. Same kind of box. Same kind of card material. Uh, again, a picture back. So, similar to the Mega Man deck at least. It's got a picture back, not just text only. But the cards, as you will see here, are more unique. This is actually what I was just talking about. Every king is going to be Sonic, every queen is going to be Amy, every jack is going to be Knuckles, but they will at least all be unique pictures. They'll have the characters in different poses. They'll all look different. There's Sonic again. There's Amy again. Knuckles. So it's nice that I mean, I guess there's no problem with having the same character in every card. I mean, there's some consistency or value to that, actually. But having different poses on every card, being a unique picture, that is much more valuable than anything else. Which means this deck is going to get a score of 11 out of 20, making it a total of 55 out of 100 being the only one of these three decks to be more than an average deck. But I still have problems, even with the Sonic deck, putting all the cards back. Just because the construction of the box makes it too tight of a fit. Alright, now, quick review. These three decks, once again, are a 42.5. A 32.5 and a 55, this being the lowest scoring deck I have at the moment. Now, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any suggestions on decks you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.